hope you're doing well welcome to another episode of live learn adventure and charity and this is where we talk about finance personal development travel and charity if this is your kind of content kindly consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video today is a week to my travel <laughs> i'm so excited so i have to plan myself because i'm working the whole week next week so i'm heading to the salon i need to have my nails done and then i pick a few things that i need for travel i don't think i will shop for snacks today i think i will shop on friday no yeah either during the day or at night so Let's do this. It's the D-Day guys. The lighting in my house is bad, but well, today is the day and I am ready. I'm just waiting for my Uber, then I head out. I don't have a sweater, I have it in my hand luggage. So let's go. So here is our suitcase. And then I have my hand luggage. We are now heading to the SGR station, as you will see in the next clip. And what really amazed me is, just like there are many women, even the travelers, the women were so many. <laughs> as to whether the seats of the first class can recline. Whomst am I? I had to try it. So apparently they cannot recline, but they, ca they can turn, they can rotate around. So you can be able to face each other if you are a group. I think basically like what the economy class can do, but just that this one has better speed. Uh, bigger space and it is a choice you know the economy class it's not a choice it's what you find i feel like i'm cheated i thought it can recline a bit but it's okay to be very honest it is still i still consider first class worth the extra cost of course it's too much but it's worth the extra cost because you know what i slept for four hours in the economy class, the maximum I sleep is two hours. Yeah, so basically it is a worthwhile upgrade. But to be honest, they could have done better. Like the seats should be reclining. Not that um, they just, they're just comfortable, but at least recline so that I can feel like my 3Gs are worth something, you know? Yeah. So here I am trying to see if the seat can recline. And well, as you can see, it is moving. I thought maybe it's because I was seated, so I stood up to try. And let me tell you, I turned, <laughs> I turned people around. I was so embarrassed. As you can see, I am just humbled and seated now. We finally arrived at our destination. That is Mombasa Terminus Miritini. And as you can see, it's 3 a.m., but it's well lit, so I was able to get a few uh, clips. Of course, during the trip, I didn't record because we were either sleeping or you just want to enjoy your trip, and everyone is now heading out. What I realized is that people in this station, both Nairobi and Mombasa, they walk very fast. I've never understood why. We are all out now and ready to go to our destination. 
as you can see it is still well lit and the best thing about Mombasa terminus is that even if you don't have transport to your destination there are so many PSVs there are taxis so the choice is yours you can decide to take a matatu or a taxi see everyone is there busy um calling out customers i love 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 this about it because if it's your first time you would be worried but with this you are sorted and of course we got to our van we were a group so obviously we needed a big van and our van was ready waiting for us to head to diani as you can see we are now on our way to diani this is mombasa town what stands out for mombasa town is the blue and white painting on this particular day i was surprised that there was a lot of lighting and fancy lighting for that matter maybe they're preparing for the festive season i don't know but it was standing out and of course now we are heading to the ferry so that we can cross to the other side of the coastal region we are in the north region so we're going to south coast there are different ways of getting to diani you can fly you can take the bus you can take the train and you can also use your private means you can do a self-drive for me i have done only two options that is um flying to diani and the SGR. Of course, as content creators, you want to explore the dif different options. Yeah, so depending on your pocket. By the time we were booking, the SGR, of course, is standard. It's economy a thousand, and the first class is three thousand, and the flight was seven thousand nine hundred. The bus is usually a standard of around one thousand five hundred up going up depending on the seat you choose that is as per the last time i used the bus so you're not limited as to the mode of transport sometimes by the way and i was i learned this from my cousin it is cheaper to take the bus than the sgr you may think the sgr is a thousand but have you ever thought of transport from the sgr to get you to mombasa if actually you're going to mombasa that is even cheaper. But how about from Mombasa to Diani? I think the time I used Amatatu from um, Likoni, this side of um, Ukunda, Diani side, I paid, I think, about 100. I can't quite remember. And it's not a long time ago, but I can't remember. Yeah, so don't restrict yourself to, oh, I have to take the SGR. Like now, for the night, you like spend the whole night. Although if I think I were to take a bus, I would do a night bus so that you arrive the next morning. And trust me, I feel like if you use the VIP seats of the bus, they are more comfortable than the first class section of the SGR. Comment below your take. We are now inside the ferry as you can see the waters around and you can still see the people are getting in. Let me tell you the reason we alighted from our bus is because it was the last one and if you watch Kenyan news you know there is a lady who drowned with her baby so the phobia was still within us. You can see there is a car behind there still trying to board and I was so scared like all these cars and you're squeezing yourself at the end. But if we were not lucky enough to get some space, that's our coaster. Yeah, so at least we are, we are certain it was inside and that board at the back is usually lifted when they start taking off. Yeah, so I decided to go upstairs give you a better view you love me and hate me true me and false me make me your shiny star give and receive and change and believe and hold it then with the star
going to arrive early in the morning with the night train or the night bus you need to have plans for your breakfast of course if you're not going to reside in someone's house so the first thing we decided is to check with the hotel how much their breakfast is their breakfast buffet is 2500 and we felt like it's quite a lot to be honest i don't think i want to spend 2500 on my breakfast so we decided to source for another place so the the guy who took us from the sgr station we asked him where we can have breakfast let me tell you mine he took us to a place to have breakfast the only available food was boiled uh, bones because i can't say those were meaty it's like soup actually they were calling it soup but it comes with bone with some meat yeah so you can have some meat and they had tea which was the only other thing which was ready and something they were calling half cakey to me that seemed like a kangumu i don't blame them um because it was still early it was i think around four something just before five but by the time we were settling and all that it was past 5 a.m and we asked them if they can fix for us breakfast yes they said they would after 5 30. the chef comes in after 5 30. we could not wait for all that long we don't know whether the chef when they come they will need to cook longer so we decided to just take what we had we took tea some eggs and the soup and they have cakey all that i don't think it even costed 500 for a whole group because honestly that was a kibandaski but funny enough for me the tea was okay the eggs were done okay just find it take it don't ever regret it make me your only one yeah so in our previous travel we bargained for our breakfast and we had buffet at 1500 this time this new uh, resort they refused so that's why we took the snacks outside so after the snacks we headed to the hotel i'm not going to give it a review on this video because we do reviews on our other channel just life and living yeah please go there and wait for that video if you have not subscribed here and there subscribe in both channels because i feel i prefer more of reviews together with the food than here yeah
we went we settled in and our first meal being it was an all-inclusive was available from i think 12 30. let me tell you we ate to our fear by the time it was lunch time you're almost not feeling like eating but you know what it is an experience we had to try the food so among the snacks we had burger fries pizza and so much more their variety is amazing for the lunch there was a variety also a full buffet uh, check out the full video on just life and living so we have finally arrived at our destination we were going to southern palms resort in the eye, baby yeah it seems like lately we are in love with Diani. So we arrive, we check in. <laughs> Guess what? We didn't get our room of choice. From the booking, it was superior rooms. From what we got is something else. I don't know how to categorize it. But someone, the housekeeper told me the white people prefer those rooms. <sighs> For me, it was that no 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 the bed is upstairs i will, definitely you'll see it on the video and there is a cot did we tell you we are coming with a baby so that you can give us a cot honestly ah that was a letdown we didn't need a cot you give us a cot please keep your cot to those people who tell you or who request for a cot it felt like I'm one uh, uh, some people supposed to sleep on the upstairs bed and the others are supposed to sleep on the court really that one was a thumbs down for southern palms honestly yes so and we were supposed to get some uh a twin we also got the upstairs bed and the court so here is our quick room tour Comment down below with your take on the room. complained and surprisingly the rooms that we were staying in they were under construction so especially the people who were close to the most recent construction they could not sleep because the rooms were dusty 
you need to work on that southern palm that was a thumbs down Woo! yeah so we complained and we were moved to new rooms those rooms were amazing let me tell you the night travel the the interesting breakfast the poor reception the late check-in did not bring us down because we had fun in our next video i'll show you the different activities that we did we had a blast thank you so much for watching this video if you're new kindly subscribe if you're returning thank you so much for always coming back to watch our videos we really appreciate and value you of course if you have not subscribed hit that subscribe button now and join the jest family see you on our next one bye